Hi, welcome to today's video. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna be drawing socks from Lightyear and in this video, you'll see me draw it using construction lines, then details and outlines, and then the coloring. Now, I thought socks was gonna be easy, but it's not. I thought I'd be able to go, yep, no worries, draw it in black straight up, but it took me six tries before I got it correct. So that is why I do construction lines. Construction lines help you get the proportions correct and make it look good. So now that we have got the construction lines of socks looking good, I'm going to add the details with a 0.5 Copic multi-liner. I'm gonna start with the nose. Start with a curve and then start with, then come down here. This is the nose. Then we're gonna bring in a little line down here for the mouth. And then these are the little cheeks. Try and stay within that circle. Remember this area here is similar size to the eyes. We don't want to make it too big or it can look funny. This here is a U shape or a U line, followed by a straight line there and a straight line coming up to about there. This is halfway. Now we're going to draw the eyes. So one circle for this eye. And we're going to put on the outer part of the eye. So let's put another circle in there. Another circle coming around like so. And I'm going to color that in quickly. That's like the pupil of the eye looking pretty good. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. Circle for the eye. And another line like so, and then another circle in that little C shape there, a little bit like a crescent moon, is the twinkle in his eye. Now his face looks pretty good. Now this is the tricky part, trying to get his head looking correct because his head comes sort of in and then out a bit there. So we want to come in and then make it wider around here and bring it around. So a smooth curve. We're gonna curve this around for the ear. I've made that slightly smaller. And then another curve for the ear. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Curve it around and curve it in like this. Now we've gotta put his collar on. But before we put his collar on, just down from here, give yourself a little bit of space. I'm going to put a circle on and this is going to say the word socks. Leave a little gap there, put a straight line across and then write the word socks. Socks up in like so. Now I'm going to put the collar in, bring it down and across. And now what we do is we're going to put a little piece like that in because that's the collar. And then this comes around like this. And then that comes around like so. And there's the neck. Now we're going to put the body piece there in. Then another piece that comes down here and joins the front of that leg. And then the front of socks, the leg here, the line there, and then the foot, the line there, and then the foot here. Bring that up, curve it around, bring that straight back down. And we're gonna have the little lines here for the paws. One, two on each of those. Bring this line around till it hits that construction line. Put the tail on, let's put the tail on. And I've made the tail slightly different. Curve line here. 
Now let's bring this line continues through. This line here starts here and then we go around. It doesn't quite join up. We'll leave a bit of a gap. This line comes around like this. Line back there. Let's bring a line around and then put the one, two, four lines on. Line there. And it comes down and around like this. Then we are going to put a line coming around like that. A line down. Another line there and there. I'm going to outline socks with a 0.8 multi-liner just to thicken the outer edge of them up to make ready for colouring in. 